Put your hands together for Ms. Francesca de Quesada Kobe, Chief Economic Development and Innovation Officer at the Mayor of Miami-Dade Office. Thank you so, so much. I'm a little bit shorter than Terry, so we're going to bring this down just a little bit. Honorable Ministers, Canto Board Members, Secretary General, distinguished guests, esteemed participants, Canto Members, delegates, Ladies and gentlemen, to your incredible Chief Experience Officer, Terry, what a way to get the evening started. And to the youngest person in the audience who is wondering what mom does when she goes to work, good evening. <laughs> it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Miami-Dade County on behalf of our mayor, Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. My name is Francesca de Quesada Covey. I am the Chief of Innovation and Economic Development for Miami-Dade County. Today, we have gathered here with a shared understanding in a rapidly advancing technological, technological landscape. The collaboration between the private and the public sector and policymakers is paramount, and it's never been more important than it is today. It's with a deep admiration for your work that I come here having worked alongside many of your ministries when I was a technology company for eight years before joining local government and really had an understanding of what you do on behalf of all of your residents. And it was that work that helped me understand and made my path back to local government. It is the alliance that the public and private sector have that have the opportunity to unlock the potential of a secure and resilient future. Let me just take a moment to give you a little bit more information about Miami-Dade County. It is a vibrant place with excellent malls, that is true. It is also a prime location and example of the potential and significance of collaboration between the private sector and policy makers in driving economic growth and resilience. Miami-Dade County stands as a thriving economic powerhouse, not only in the state of Florida, but also on a national and global scale. We boast a robust GDP of over 143 billion. We're one of the largest regional economies in the United States. We're the 14th largest county. And if we were to be a state in our own right, we would be the 13th state. The county is home to a diverse array of industries that contribute to its economic vitality. We excel in the sectors of finance, tourism, international trade, logistics, healthcare, and technology. This diverse economic base not only fosters innovation and entrepreneurship, but also enhances the county's resilience to economic fluctuations. Miami-Dade County's strategic location has established us as a trade hub, not only in North America, but also with Europe, the Caribbean, and Latin America. The county's proximity and strong ties to the Caribbean region have created robust economic connections. Through trade agreements, cultural exchanges, and shared innovation, Miami-Dade has become a gateway to Latin America and a gateway to the Caribbean nations to access global markets and tap into new technology. In the context of Miami-Dade's economic landscape and our discussion on col collaboration between the public and private sectors, it is important to highlight two organizations the mayor has created. First, our new team of economic development and innovation. Never before has, has Miami-Dade, with an economy as large as it does and a budget of more than $10 billion a year, had an office of economic development and innovation. Our charge is twofold, to ensure that we're driving traditional economic development factors, such as increased jobs, increased workforce, long-standing careers, local spend, increased tourism, increased trade, but to also think about the opportunities when it comes to innovation to drive solutions to our more pressing challenges. Two things that I think would, be, would re resonate really deeply with this um, audience is one, we've invested significant resources in broadband. While the county is not an infrastructure provider itself, we have an arrangement with the Miami Foundation to ensure that we have a broadband digital equity plan we will be the first in the state of Florida and the first that we know of um, to launch a new broadband digital equity plan to ensure that we're closing the gap between those that have access to the internet and those that don't. 
Like you, we know that economic opportunity is only available by ensuring that everyone has access to high-speed broadband. The second thing that we have done here um, and launched this year is the Miami Data Innovation Authority. The Miami Data Innovation Authority, modeled after the Israeli Innovation Authority, is a public-private partnership with funding from foundations and the private sector to ensure that we are using the innovation that is being created at global startups to solve Miami-Dade's most pressing challenges, and then scale those startups through the procurement efforts of the government. We launched our first challenge this last week, which is focused on Sargassum, where we hope to get international companies, a lot that are doing good work already in the Caribbean, to come here to Miami-Dade, pilot their solutions, and if they are successful, land an opportunity to enter into procurement with Miami-Dade County and other large government agencies. It is this type of innovation um, and leadership under the visionary, uh, under the visionary leadership of Miami-Dade County's mayor that really sets us apart to think about how we can work more closely with the private sector. One of the things that we get asked is how we interact with our 34 municipalities. So Miami-Dade, for those of you that are not aware, is the large area that you find yourself in with the responsibilities of the seaport and the airport. And within Miami-Dade, we have 34 municipalities. Those 34 municipalities serve approximately 3 million residents. We in Miami-Dade are proud of our efforts in the advancements that we've made across our infrastructure to ensure that those 34 municipalities are connected and that we are running policies across all of the cities to ensure that we have the same outcomes and that when you come here and you do business here, you have one way of operating with the 34 municipalities. Now, talking a little bit more about this year's theme for Canto, we're very, very proud of the work that we've been doing here across infrastructure and data resiliency to ensure continuity of service and quality. We're very proud of the local universities who have become national leaders. Universities in Miami have been at the forefront of driving data resilience. For example, the University of Miami has established dedicated research centers and laboratories focused on cybersecurity and data protection. These centers actively engage in research, knowledge sharing, and collaboration with industry partners to develop cutting edge technologies and methodologies for data resilience. Florida International University, also known as FIU, in particular has made significant strides in enhancing data resilience. The university's cybersecurity programs and research initiatives contribute to a robust ecosystem of expertise and innovation in safeguarding critical data. FIU collaborates with industry partners, government agencies, and other academic institutions to address the emerging challenges in data security and resilience. These universities are actively investing in training the next generation of professionals, fostering the research and development, and engaging in public-private partnerships to fortify data resilience in Miami-Dade County. I hope you'll draw inspiration from Miami-Dade County's economic successes, the collaborative efforts of the Miami-Dade Innovation Authority, and our economic and technological ties with your region. By recognizing the value of public-private collaboration, cross-border partnerships, and prioritizing data security and resilience, we can create a more resilient, more innovative, more future-ready economy. Thank you. I'm thrilled for the progress you're going to make here this year and very excited to learn more together.